guys! So I know this is like a week late, but I wanted to quickly give you a wrap up of my Battle Books readathon progress, what I did, how I did. I had a pretty successful week. I read eight books and I am currently still reading two other books that I wanted to read during the readathon. Originally I was going to give five dollars to the charity first book each time I finished a book, but I'm going to count the currently reading ones as well just so I could give more to the charity. So I ended up giving fifty dollars to first book, which I thought was awesome. I was really happy that I was able to do that. Eight books in total, two books still in progress, 2,477 pages read. That last number is so Sort of iffy. I read a lot of graphic novels, but admittedly some of the graphic novels took me longer to read than some of the novels that I read. So that page count isn't exactly like a solid page count, but either way that's all the pages that I read and either way I'm very proud of the numbers. I'm not going to go super into detail about each book that I read, but I am going to show you all the books that I read. I did make an update video last Friday, I will put it right here in case you want to see that. That does go more in detail about all the books. Since that update I only read one other book for the readathon, so I'll be Obviously I'll add that one in here as well. So day one I read Sold which was 263 pages, Fun Home by Alison Beckel which was 234 pages, and Island, not Island, the Happily Ever After, that'd be so awesome. And Lola and the Boy Next Door which was 384 pages. Day two I read nothing, but I did start Living Dead Girl and then on day three I finished Living Dead Girl. That's by Elizabeth Scott and it's 170 pages. Day four I did a lot better. I read No and Me, which was 256 pages, and I also read One Crazy Summer, which was 218 pages. Day 5 I read Saga, which was awesome, and it was 160 pages. And on day 6 I read Habibi, which is 672 pages. This is one of the ones where the word count isn't really accurate to the amount of words that are on each page, but either way it was really fantastic and I'm totally happy that I read it for the readathon. Admittedly, it wasn't what I hoped it would be. Um, Craig Thompson goes really into religious aspects in his books, and while that is fantastic and it makes me learn a lot, I was so much more interested in the specific story and I wanted more of the story. I found myself sort of skimming through a lot of the religious aspects, which admittedly, they could have been really interesting. But it's just not what I was here to read about. I was so, so interested in the story, and this story was really phenomenal. They went on such a massive journey throughout this story. It was great. I would totally recommend it. But I would probably recommend that you read Blankets by Craig Thompson before you read Habibi. Day 7, I totally slumped out. During that day I wanted to read Carne de Voyage by Craig Thompson, which I only got 40 pages in. And I also wanted to finish Good Eggs by Phoebe Potts, which I only read 80 pages of. Either way, that put me at 120 pages more. Can't really complain, but I did want to finish them. Almost a week later I still haven't finished them. I have been sort of slumpy lately but hopefully I'll get over that soon. And that's basically it. That is my wrap up. I had a really fun time participating in Battle Books and I will definitely be participating in the next one. I will see you guys very, very soon, probably for a haul video. Bye guys.